I've been trying to take my eyes off you Oh girl, it ain't easy, just let go of that body Why well, you gotta keep flirting like you do I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry I still a little see you, trying to make some plans Now come on baby, let it in the PM Hope that you would understand I think that if you get to know me You see I'm way more than nice I wanna hold you, let me feel you Till the morning light I'm more than just nine to five Hello beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you so much for joining me for another cleaning motivational video. I'm hoping that this will give you some energy, some inspiration, some motivation to get up and tackle something in your home today that needs to be tackled, whether it be the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, a bathroom, a closet, whatever it is. I hope that this gives you motivation to get it done. I am cleaning up my kitchen, got a couple things in here that I need to get done as far as cleaning out the refrigerator, restocking it, um, also cleaning the stove, organizing some of the stuff on some other, well, you'll see, organizing some stuff in the kitchen. You'll see there's just a lot going on in this kitchen, but I want to definitely take you along so that you can see and just let me know what you think at the end of the video. So let's hop right into it and thank you again for joining me. If you are new to the channel, I really hope you will consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. And if you are lifetime loyal, welcome, beautiful people. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming back. I know you are all busy and I'm just super appreciative to have you here. Again, now let's hop into the video. Leaving your affection for me at home Tell me what you do 
So beautiful people, I'm giving you some dishwashing motivation here. I love washing dishes. Y'all know this about me. I do not have a dishwasher in this home yet, but one is on the way. So I'm super excited for that. When it comes in, of course, I'll definitely show you. And then also it getting it's getting installed and all of that. So again, very excited for that. I had a company reach out to me and I'm just super, super thankful and super, super amazed and blessed, truly. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to be getting the kitchen done. Well, not done. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to, you know, take it away. But the month of March, I will be having some kitchen makeovers coming to you. That's the best way I can put it. The biggest one being with the dishwasher. So I'm hoping to, if I can, I want to get a garbage disposal put in the dishwasher and also a water line that'll go over to the refrigerator. Don't know if all of that can happen. We will see, but that is the plans that I have. Also, it's starting to warm up. I think it's in the 60s th today. And why did these beetle things just there's so many of them on my porch so i will be calling the exterminator tomorrow to come out and try to remedy this situation because no well let me tell you first of all i didn't even know they were on the porch until they started flying on the um the ring doorbell you know so you can see outside and we were like what is going on why does it it keeps ringing like there's a package or someone coming to the house or whatever and i'm like oh my gosh so I look on the camera on my phone and I guess Ayana looked because she can see it on her phone too. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's a bug. And then when I finally went out there, it was multiple bugs. So I have this um, uh, spray that I got from Home Depot, either Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't know which one, but I got this bug spray that I sprayed all around the porch. And as I was spraying, they were, they just kept coming out. So you know how you have your door casing around the front door? your screen door or whatever. I guess they, they were inside of the door casing. Oh my gosh. It's like always something. I swear it's always something. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to call the exterminator tomorrow so that he or she can start the process of trying to remedy this. Also, I have a couple trees. There's one tree in my yard that I've never ever seen before ever in life. I don't know what kind of tree it is. And I wonder if they're coming from that tree. So I might have to just get that tree cut down, which I'm OK with. I'm, I'm just letting you know I'm OK with cutting all the trees down, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so that's the big thing right now. And they just loved gravitating to that ring doorbell like they knew that we could see them or something. I don't know. Creepiest thing ever in history. But ugh. yeah, so I went and sprayed all around and they it did stop them in their tracks. The spray that I have actually stopped them in their tracks, which I'm so happy for. I just know that they're going to come back because it's just now starting to warm up and, you know, with warmer weather, more bugs. Oh, gosh, help me. She ran to the west side And though my 
much was stolen, much still abides. And I know she'd rather keep her distance, but as time moves on, she's drifting away. Drifting away from me. But did the ocean I did start removing my Valentine's Day decor. I am thinking about the spring decor and I'm not sure what color I want to go with when it comes to spring just yet. I have three colors in mind and y'all let me know down in the comments below which color. So of course I can go with yellow. 
or I can go with a like a teal blue or like a, t a light blue or I was thinking about a hunter green. Those are the three colors that I am considering for spring. Haven't decided yet. I'll definitely take you along with me when I start to buy a little bit of spring decor. Just go and check out a few places like Target and Home Goods and Burlington or Ross or something like that. We'll see. But those are the three colors, either yellow, like a light blue or a hunter green. And I am leaning towards one of them, but I do want to hear what you have to say in the comments below, like what you think, what color you think I should go with. Baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you. See you. You know, you know, I see you. My baby, you know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. Uh. I pray to the Lord. I write to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Father, Mother, Jambele. Everything been safe again, ma. Everything for your jambele, oh jambele, oh, oh yeah. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me. So last week, all of a sudden, I did not feel good at all. It was actually Sunday night. Sunday night, going. It was about seven o'clock Sunday night. All of a sudden, I just felt super sick to my stomach, throwing up, you know, diarrhea. I know I'm being very transparent here, but just super, super sick. It lasted until Wednesday, guys, Wednesday. I was I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I'm like, am I dehydrated? I've been drinking my water and everything like what is going on? I don't understand. Oh, please, somebody help me. I just could not figure it out. And then Kinsley, I felt so bad. My baby, she was crying Sunday night. She was crying so hard because she was like, Mommy, you are you OK? Are you OK? I'm just so worried about you. She was so worried and I felt so bad. I just could not get myself together. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I ate and I couldn't have eaten anything bad that I could think of because I've only been like I, I eat the same things over and over again because I know that they work for me. I made lasagna for the kids. I didn't eat any of that. So I'm like, you know, like usually noodles or pasta or something like that. That'll bother me. I can't do that. And I'm like, what what is going on? I don't understand. So anyway, needless to say, uh, Monday, I did call off from work and I just stayed in bed all day. Tuesday, I actually had to I had a couple meetings, so I had to go to work. Then Wednesday, I went into the office again and that was a just I was back and forth so I ended up going home leaving and I finally started to feel better like Wednesday night Wednesday night going into Thursday I started to feel better but it was just crazy I just I could not get myself together I don't know what it was needless to say I was so glad that I made lasagna earlier I made lasagna on Saturday or Sunday I can't remember Saturday and I'm so glad I made it because the kids had something to eat, of course. But I just could not get myself together. I do feel better now. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord.
So this area over here has become a catch-all. I was trying to think what I can do with it. I actually plan on, if I don't find another um, shelving unit or another cabinet to go over here, then I'm going to put some shelves. But for right now, I wanted to make it way more organized because like I said, it was becoming a catch-all and I did not like the way it was looking at all whatsoever. So I did organize it. It looks extremely nice, much better than it did before. But it just made it really easy for the kids to locate the paper plates and the plastic utensils. And then I have like some of my collagen and medicines and different things over here. But it's much more organized. And I like that. I was trying to think how I want to utilize these cabinets over here like that tall one because I really don't use it at all. The tall one at the top I have a lot of my... Um, what is it? Appli other appliances that I haven't used in there. And then the bottom one, I don't use that at all. I don't open it because I don't even know what you would put in there. It's so oddly shaped. I don't, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. So I don't use it at all. So to me, this is all a big waste of space and I think it can look so much better. Now over here, the kitchen itself to me is, it's a large kitchen. I just think that it's oddly configured like whoever put it together I, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever so it just needs to be reconfigured all together but that'll be for another time Understood what I did wrong. I'm trying hard to find a place where I belong. I lived an empty life, but I had to carry on. Right. I guess I really was giving up on love. And I tried to block those feelings off. I know. In a middle of and it all came back when I thought that everything was lost. What a cold night when I met my missus right when my feelings come to life again when I thought I didn't care I just saw what's standing near when my feelings come to life again now I wake up every morning next to her I gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl there's no place I'd rather be here in this world To block those feelings off In the middle of sex And it all came back When I thought that everything was lost On a cold November night I met my missus right My feelings come to life again And I thought I didn't care I just saw what's standing near And my feelings come to life Tried to block those feelings off. What else can I do? In the middle of sex, Ooh. and it all came back. Came back when I me. thought that everything was lost. Now I am just cleaning and prepping my fruit. I do put the fruit in the mason jars and that is just such a great way to store your fruit. To me, it lasts a lot longer and it's so it actually frees up a lot of space in the living room. So a lot better. I love it. I'm going to keep using it. And I tend to stick with strawberries, blueberries, grapes, um, different things like that. And it stays really fresh in there. So I got my mason jars from the Dollar General. I think I got six in a pack for like 
maybe seven or eight dollars. I can't remember exactly, but it wasn't a lot of money at all whatsoever. And I, I'm actually thinking about getting a few more um, because, again, I just love the way that it stores the food. So, yeah, you can get them from anywhere. They have them at Target. They have them at Walmart. Of course, I got mine from the Dollar General. I was just in there one day and I was like, I can put my fruit in here. This will be, you know, it was just on my mind. But you can get them from anywhere and um, Walmart or Dollar General might have the best, I want to say the best prices, but definitely check around. When you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you.
Now it's time to clean out my refrigerator. And can I just say that having a double door refrigerator makes things so much easier, makes life so much easier <laughs> compared to like the refrigerator on one side and the freezer on the other. Oh my gosh. Now the freezer itself at the bottom, I'm not a fan of, I'm really not, but it does work. It does serve its purpose. I'm always worried that the kids are going to stuff things in it wrong and break it or whatever, but it's been holding up pretty well. And thank you, Lord. That's all I can say is thank you. Thank you. But cleaning out this refrigerator is so easy, guys. It is so, so easy. I love this refrigerator. Great, great, great investment. I actually bought it from American Freight. I believe that's where I got it from. And you know how people, um, They'll buy a refrigerator and it'll have a, they'll get it delivered and it'll have a scratch or a dent or something and they return it. Well, that is what happened with this one. This one does have a scratch on it and I was able to get it for a thousand dollars cheaper than what it normally would run if it was in pristine condition. I'm okay with that. You know, as long as it runs, I have a warranty on it. It's brand spanking new. If anything happens to it, they will come and replace it. So I love that. And then eventually, you know, and a couple years or whatever the case may be, when it's time to get a new one, then maybe I'll get a brand spanking new one with no scratches. But definitely, definitely, <laughs> if you can find something, what is it called? Like scratch and dent, basically. I remember when I got my first washer and dryer set. Was it my first or second? I can't remember. But I remember buying a scratch and dent and yeah, you just save a little bit of money. And as long as it's brand new and it works perfectly fine, I'm okay with that. I really am. And like I said, I saved a thousand dollars less than what I would be if I would have just went to Best Buy or Home Depot and bought it straight out. So I'm okay with that. But again, I love this refrigerator. Super easy to clean. It stores a lot. I'm pleased with it. I have no problems with it. And yeah, just, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I was trying to get a refrigerator in here keep my food cold so that I can feed my family. <laughs> to be a different side of me yeah for the 
Now I'm just showing you inside of my refrigerator. Super simple, super easy. This drawer right here did not organize it. That's the kids snacks. And then over here I have lunch meats, cheeses. I have my um, peppers for cooking back there and some lemons, but pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I have my fruit, the milk, almond breeze, my lasagna. That's another pan of lasagna. And yeah, now I'm just removing this, the Valentine's Day decor, and I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen, trying to eliminate a lot of the stuff on the counter so that um, it doesn't look cluttered. You know what I mean? Just want to make sure I have stuff on there that I'm actually going to use. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this and work out our feelings. Now I'm just sweeping the floor. I'm getting ready to use my steamer to clean it. And I just wanted to give you a quick little tip here. So I have a lot of the balloons that are kind of floating around my house <laughs> from Valentine's Day and the party. What you can do if you have a balloon, because the kids were popping all of the balloons and the ones that got away, of course, they couldn't reach. But what you can do is you can put some tape at the end of your broom or, you know, mop head, whatever you want to do and just stick it to the balloon it comes right down you can pop it and throw it away great 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 little tip it works perfectly and you know it, it just saves you a lot of time basically so i did get that balloon down i did pop it now the light that i have here in the kitchen i have a brand new light fixture that's in the basement i'm going to have the gentleman that put up the light fixture in the living room and dining room he's going to come and replace the kitchen and then all of my hallway light fixtures I was debating if I wanted to pay someone to come and paint the hallway because that is a huge task that I honestly do not want to take on but I want the hallway to be bright white basically I want it to be white and I think I might have to pay a company to paint that hallway but before all of that I got to work on getting this um, dishwasher and so forth in so eventually by the summertime everything will be I think everything will be almost done as far as like light fixtures and stuff. So Ayana does graduate from high school this year and I do plan on having her like a graduation dinner or something like that here at the house or in our yard area. Once I determine with these bugs and these trees and everything, I got to see. But um, if I do have it at the house, I definitely want to make sure that the majority of the stuff is kind of taken care of. We'll see how my funds go because I'm all about spending like maybe 20% of what I earned and saving the rest. I'm all about saving guys. Sorry, I got to save because I got kids and you never know what can happen or what's going to happen. So it's all about saving. 
And then also, if you have a YouTube channel, put you some money away for taxes, people. Okay. Put you some money away for your taxes because they're going to come and get you. Okay. I always put a, put away. Um, I tend to put away 25% of everything that I get from YouTube into you know, put it away for my taxes. So I don't think it's that much. I think it's like 22, 23%. But again, I put about 25% away. So <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I'm curious. I know some people are wondering like, why is she vacuuming her floor? But I did sweep the floor very well. I vacuumed the floor because a light bulb had broke. And you know how when glass breaks, the little shards and stuff will be everywhere. So I wanted to go over the floor very, very well to make sure that everything was up. There were no little pieces or anything. I don't want anything, you know, cutting my babies or maybe getting into one of the paws of the pets or anything like that. So I went over the floor. I made sure that I vacuumed and cleaned up everything so that we wouldn't have any issues. And yes, it works very, very well. I mean, some people vacuum their floors. It works. So that's what I was doing. I just vacuumed the floor and then I'm going to steam it. I actually bought these garbage cans off of Amazon and they, I mean, they serve their purpose. They're a little smaller than what I thought they were actually going to be, but right under the dishes. So you see where I have my dishes, there's a drawer that I keep like my aluminum foil, my saran wrap, my parchment paper in there. And then right under that is a garbage drawer. So I have two garbage cans that are in there that I never showed y'all. I don't know why I never showed y'all that. But there are garbage cans. So it's a pull out drawer that has two garbage cans in there that I do plan on using probably moving forward. I don't know. I think it's a cool feature. It's not needed, to be honest with you, but it's a cool little feature. So I'm just cleaning off my garbage cans right now. I'm going to come back and wipe off the wall because I did forget in that moment. But I am going to come back and wipe off the wall. And I'm just making sure everything is clean. Now, I did use... Um, a rag to wipe off the garbage cans and the wall and different things like that, but it's not used for dishes or anything like that. So just to let you know, I do try and keep everything separate and I did use a sponge to clean my dishes. There you, yeah, there you go. Cause some people are worried that with cross contamination and things like that, I, I like to separate things all together too. It, it makes sense.
the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me babe Cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say Now I am just putting up my dishes. I'm trying to teach the kids after you wash the dishes to put them up so that we can free up the counter space. They don't need to be out all the time. Even though this little area over here is perfectly fine to leave the dishes, I mean, it doesn't matter. But I like for them to be put up so that we can have more space, if that makes sense. So I am just putting up the dishes and then I'm going to be moving on. <laughs> but you will see in my cabinets that I actually purge a lot of things. So we have, to me, we have just enough cups and just enough plates and everything. 
Um, of course, a little bit more just in case people come over, but I don't have an abundance of stuff in my cabinets and that's just the way I like it for now. I do have, well, I do want to um, go through and clear it out a little bit more, but for now, I'm, I'm just making do. I like the way it is. It's not overcrowded, which makes me really happy. And just like that, the kitchen is clean. <laughs> this kitchen is so spacious, guys. It really is a very nice and spacious kitchen. I can't wait to eventually just redo it. Now, right here, I will say these bananas, they are ripening, but I left those there for a reason because I want to make banana, banana bread. So don't mind those. <laughs> and then again, this is the wall of appliances. And we're just going to leave that there until I figure out what I want to do. I do have my ginger jar on the island and my cookbook. And yeah, so I have the paint color now that I'm going to be painting the kitchen. The cabinets are going to get painted. A dishwasher is going to be put in. Shelving is going to be added to the kitchen. And it just feels so, so good to know the plan and where everything is going. So I'm just happy. I love my kitchen. I love, it functions very well for us. And I don't know, it just makes me happy to have a large space to cook and take care of my family in. It really does. So again, the kitchen is nice and clean and tidy. And I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch it. More videos to come for sure. More makeovers. Oh, I do have... Um, lighting under the cabinet. I do have to charge two of them, but I ordered that the lighting from Amazon and I love it. It works perfectly and it's very, very bright, but I do have to charge them every now and then. So yes. So thank you again for watching. I love y'all to the moon and back. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.